Well, good morning. It is my fourth day on the Pictured Rocks Lake Shore Trail. Look how beautiful it is this morning. And I have 9.1 miles to do today to get to my car at the log slide. I will go into town and take a much needed shower and do some laundry and spend the night. And then tomorrow I'm gonna shuttle. I'm gonna drive back to log slide and shuttle to uh, Grand Sable Visitor Center and loop that last 5.3. I wasn't able to get a campsite to break up these last uh, 15 miles. So that's what I'm gonna do. But uh, it's been beautiful trail yesterday and today. I hope I'm not jinxing myself. It's just been beautiful, if you can see. This is a great, great beginner trail. Great beginner trail. And I will do a summary on that after I put out these videos of why I think if you are interested in starting out backpacking and learning and getting comfortable with your gear and stuff, this is a great one. It's only 40 something miles. It's beautiful. Uh, the water. I mean, you have everything from pine trees to beaches. It's kind of like, uh, you know, waterfalls. It's just got everything in a short 42 miles. So let's get this last few miles under my belt and get back to my car so I can take a nice hot shower today and uh, fill up my belly because I'm, I'm ready for some good food. All right, y'all, let's go. So here's a little bit of what my morning walk, I should call it, has looked like. It's beautiful. It's so peaceful. I haven't even seen any hikers yet this morning, which I'm surprised because there's several campsites coming up here pretty soon. So that'll break up a good chunk of my day. I'm only, I think my longest stint without any campsites is about 2.9 miles and then after that, it's like a mile here, mile and a half here, two and a half, I'm at the car. So it's nice to have those little things to, to break things up. Yeah. How beautiful is this? All right, let's get to the car. So I just came off the trail that way. And here's a privy. A really beautiful one that has a key lock on it. This is trailhead just like a couple of the privies were locked along the way. I don't understand why. It's some of like, but then there's this little cabin here. I mean, this all looks like real new. So I don't know if you can rent this along the way. I'm assuming you got to rent it to a campground and then maybe either and then hike in. But look at how pretty that is. I can see that there's bunk beds in there and you got a picnic table and a fire pit. And what's really super nice is that if you need water while you're here, it has a nice deck out here with some bench seating that has stairs down to the beach like stairs. You don't have to climb down and up a sand dune to go get water. I mean, now granted, yeah, it's steep, but it's better than what I had to do yesterday. But look at how pretty this is. Ain't that nice? I mean, that looks new. I am at 12 Mile Beach Campground. Very, very, very nice campground, I will tell you. Very nice. There's um, privy, nice and clean, trash, water. This is drive up so you don't have to, to hike in. It's absolutely beautiful. And I was able to use the privy, fill up my water without having to filter it out of the lake. And you have the lake right behind you. It's pretty full, but it's not totally full. People have their cayuse, ca cayuse canoes kayaks there's another privy right there so there's several of them i don't know how many uh sites are in here but it is 12 mile beach campground it's super nice 
Yeah, like, look, there's no one in this site. And you have a straight shot of the lake and a stairs to go down into it. And they've got bear boxes if you need them. If your tent can't, well, this one, obviously if I had made a reservation, I would need the bear box, but it's drive up. So if you have your car, but if you're a hiker, so absolutely beautiful uh, site, everything you'll need. And I mean, there's hiking trails in both directions. So there you go. Look at those. That's the largest whatever <laughs> mold growth on a tree I've ever seen in my life. That thing's huge. I mean, here's another one. It's not quite as big, but that's crazy how that just grows like that. I'm getting ready to cross the beautiful Hurricane River. I'm assuming it's beautiful because the bridge is nice and I can hear it loud and clear. And it just flows All right from up there directly out into Lake Superior. I think I gotta go down, there's stairs right there. For sure, let's go. All right, so remember I came from Munising, so I'm going in the opposite direction that most people go. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do first is sit right there and have my lunch and uh, Coaster Brook, Coaster Brook Trout swim in that river. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna have my lunch and then see if I can pop down there. The black flies are still out, so you go down on that beach and it's like, they wanna slaughter you right away. So, all right, let's have lunch. So we're gonna walk over here in the river that I took from the bridge. And here's how it looks coming down. Sorry, I'm struggling in the sand. Here's how it looks from this point. Rushes down and then just goes right into the lake over there. Man, I could spend a minute here for sure. Getting ready to come out to the Osable Lighthouse. See yet? Yes. All right, let's boogie. The Lighthouse Museum was open today. And so now I'm able to walk through here, which is where the family stayed. I think it's Took care of the lighthouse. Sweet, they don't like the chips. 
That's the harbor, the Grand Maria Harbor. That's up where we were. These systems to convert light energy into electricity. Are you ready? Single block. Nine. Ships that used to come in through this area. Hogwarts, holy mackerel. I gotta be happy. Annual salary of $500. Hmm. <laughs> so I asked about these little buildings and the two little buildings with the green doors were for were outhouses and the yellow one was to store the fuel to keep the light burning and this is the main house in the front though i looked in the windows you can't go in there it's got the old stove in there and the dining room table and everything so i'm not sure if they had more than obviously I'm not sure if they had more than one group of people living here or if they had the five savers, but we're going to walk back to this building that is open. And if you look there to the right, you can see all the dunes. And I will hike past those tomorrow on my way from the Grand Sable Visitor Center back to the log slide. I will be hiking that way along those because I am to about two miles, a little bit less to my car. And it's pretty amazing. I mean, I can't even imagine what the skies look like out here because I know in the forest the last few nights, oh, there's a chipmunk in here. Um, I woke up, I, the stars were, oh. There's a door right there. Look at the whole sink. It smells like fuel in here. Look, it's like all their rescue stuff, maybe, and extra fuel or whatever. Lighthouse keeper's boat. This boat that he'd go out on the lake. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Yeah, it smells like fuel in here. Ooh, and there's a ladder to go up there. Huh. I wish they would have freaking, what, what, I should have asked her, I didn't know. All right, I'm almost there to the car. This last like mile is trying to kill me. This is why, this is one of the big reasons why going in the other direction is easier. This is the second one of these that I've done in the last few minutes to get up to the log slide area. I made it. Log slide beach is right behind me. Don't mind the fancy hairdo. See, how perfect. It's a log slide. 
history of the log slide. I don't know if I showed you all this before, so let's look at this real quick. All right, so in case I didn't, I was going to think I was going to do it tomorrow, but I'm going to do it just in case I forget. But basically how this worked was those horses hauled the lumber and those all the way. And then what they did was they walked it up to the top of the log slide and dropped them down into the lake so that they could be picked up by boat. So here's the last little bit of my hike to my car.